Hi guys, it's Shade and welcome back to my channel. And today, you guys, I have another story time, obviously. And y'all, I know y'all see the title and just know this happened when I was younger, okay? Did I know better? Yes. Did I care? No. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, yes, yes, I was a side chick before and you guys, I knew. So if you guys realize that I'm wearing the same outfit as a previous video, it's because I did a chit chat, get ready with me, and I was like, I can't let this good be go to waste. <laughs> yeah, so let me enjoy it. So let's just jump right into it. Back in the day, I had this acquaintance, right? And we gonna call her Karen. Now listen, me and Karen we was never friends. We was literally acquaintances. We had mutual friends and like when we see each other you ever have someone that you never hang out with but when y'all see each other so I was like hey hey girl how you doing whatever whatever just like small talk but it it doesn't go past there that was Karen to me right and I knew Karen had a boyfriend and I used to see him like I used to see them together shopping when they used to come to the store that I worked at and like I used to be like oh he cute but at that time I never like, I never looked at him any other way. I just said, oh, that's a boyfriend. Hmm. And this happened around the time when BBM was lit. And BBM was lit, like, when, between 8 to 10 years ago. So, you know, this was a throwback again, right? So, one day, I'm at home, and I'm just, you know, I'm on my BBM, just texting my friends or whatever, and... I get this request right so I look and the person's name is tall I'm just gonna call him tall because y'all he was tall he was tall and he was sexy tall chocolate athletic bill oh he was so cute <laughs> yeah we're gonna call him tall right so I get this request and I'm like who is tall like I didn't know who it was and so I just added just to see, just added him just to see like, maybe, you know, maybe I know who he is. So I add him and his picture doesn't do, do him no justice. It's literally a picture of the top of his head. He's showing his wave. So he's holding the camera like this. And that was his picture. And just as I accept his request, he messages me. He's like, hey, what's up? So I was like, who is this? And he was like, tall. I'm like, tall who? Because his nickname, he did have a nickname that did refer to like the way that he looked, but it wasn't tall though. <laughs> so I was like, do you have a picture like so it could help me? So y'all, he sends me this picture and I'm like, y'all, it was Karen's boyfriend. And I'm just like, why is he adding me? So I asked him, I'm like, where did you get my pen from? Because me and her don't have each other on BBM or we don't have each other on really anything. Like maybe, like I know we did have each other on MySpace and how long ago was MySpace? And he says, oh, you know, I got it from my boy. Now, I don't know if y'all in Turks and Caicos know this, but like a lot of dudes used to get our pins from their friends. They used to go in each other's phones and they used to swap y'all. They used to swap our pins. What is that? <laughs> So yeah, you guys, he tells me that he got he got my pen from his boy. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, I didn't really check for him because I had a lot of people on my BBM that I really didn't check for. They was just there holding space. So, you know, I go on about my days, like, you know, a few days later, he messages me again. But, like, he's messaging me consistently. And, at, like, at first, I really did try and ignore this young man. But he was very persistent. Like, I really tried to, like, brush him off. And I know y'all probably saying, like, you could have just deleted him. But we know it didn't go that way. So <laughs> let me carry on, right? <laughs> so he keeps asking me out. And I'm just like, I keep, you know, declining it. And then he keeps asking. He keeps asking. And let me just say at this time, y'all, I was a little, you know, college student and working part time at the same time so I was kind of struggling so who was I to turn down a free meal and some drinks you know so <laughs> I just said okay you could take me out 
and then we went out we went out for um the first place we went i think we went we went to somewhere cafe because he had a cousin who worked there and you know he had the little hook up with the drinks or whatever so we went to somewhere cafe we got our drinks we talked you know we got to know each other a little more and as for speaking you know i'm like oh you know he cool he real cool and you know i really should have been saying shade get this meal and go about your business but no no my dumbass continued talking to him so after that day y'all we continued to spend time together we continued going out we basically became friends with benefits y'all and let me just say at this point in time i wasn't looking for him to be my man because it was clear that he wasn't shit i i just wanted some and he was providing it i wasn't talking to anybody else at that time so why not and y'all, let me just say, let me just say, he knew how to put it down, flip it, and reverse it. Yeah. So yeah, guys, as we continue to, you know, spend time together, you know, he, we kind of open up with each other. You know, just, for me, it was simple things, but for him, he used to be telling me things about his relationship that I didn't want nor need to know. Like, and y'all, the things he told me, you would think that my stupid ass would say, girl, get out of here. Like, you got to go. Nope. I would stay. I, I just used to be like, hey, 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 whatever. The D is good, so. But, yeah, like, he used to tell me stuff. Like, he literally used to tell me how he would cheat on his girlfriend, y'all. He told me, I'm going to tell you two incidents that he told me about so the first one is him and his homeboy, his girlfriend, and his homeboy's, homeboy's girlfriend. They were friends. So if y'all remember, Horse Eye Jack used to have a full moon party every full moon. And it used to be lit. So his plan basically was he used to call his boy up and be like, Hey, me and my girl be coming out tonight, so you already know. So basically what they used to do... When they went out, they used to let the girls link, and then they would go MIA, y'all. So why are the girls dancing up and laughing, thinking that they men just chilling? No, no, no. They men wasn't even at the venue. They men's left to go beat some other girl. Like, that's how they was rolling. And I just used to be there like, but I still continue to mess with them. <laughs> so, and another time, y'all, he said, you know, because I was thinking, like, maybe she doesn't know even though, I, like I said, I didn't care. But, y'all, she did know. She did know how horrible her man was. Because he told me about another incident where she caught him at his house with another girl. And, basically, she was calling him, calling him, calling him. He would not answer. So, of course, she pulls up at his house. Now, y'all, y'all know the doors, right? Um, with the glass to the top of the door. So, she, because she was too short, she had to pull a bucket that was outside and she stood on the bucket, y'all, and called him. And she was looking at him through the glass. And his he said his ass was laying on the ground, like, crawling, trying to hide. But, of course, he got caught. Like, that should have made me run for the hills. But, nope, 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 nope. Where was I going? Where was I going? That wasn't my man. <laughs> that was her problem, not mine. Now, you guys, from the time he told me he got caught cheating, that should have been a in my head like girl this is not going to end well but i was too comfortable he was too comfortable we were too comfortable so now you guys this is where things had left i remember this day he slept over my house and did i say he used to play ball he played ball guys basketball and before he left my house he was like please come to my game tonight and i was like okay cool yeah i'm gonna come because i always used to go to the games every now and then and I went to work, and we were messaging all day throughout work, and he was sending some very explicit messages. And this day at work, it was a sale, y'all, and I was tired. When I got home, I was like, uh-uh, there's no way that I can make this game. I remember him messaging me when I got home. He was like, you still coming? And I was like, nah, I'm tired. Like I, I was like, I'm so sorry, but I can't make it. And he was like, okay, cool, I'm going to hit you up after the game. So I was like, all right, cool. So I fall asleep, and I'm, when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I wonder if he called me. And when I look at my phone, I realize he didn't call me, so I was like, hmm, he must he was tired or something. And I go in BBM, 
and I see he messages me and I'm like, oh, okay, let me see what he's saying. But y'all, it wasn't tall. It was Karen. <laughs> Karen sent me a whole paragraph. She cursed my ass out, y'all. She cursed me out. She called me all the snakes, all the sluts, all the hoes, all the home wreckers, everything. She called, she cursed me out. And then after the cursing, she gonna end it with, if you can't stand the heat, stay out the kitchen. I looked at that phone like, well, that's it. <laughs> I was like, okay, we done, it, it, this is it. And it wasn't. Y'all know when I got home from work the next day, that young man was in my yard waiting for me, apologizing to me that we got caught. I was like, sir, it, it, like, that's it, it's over. We can't, you know, we can't do this no more. And he's like, no, but I don't wanna stop talking to you. So I asked him, I said, how did she even find out? This idiot gonna say, Oh, when I was playing ball, I gave her my gym bag with my phone in it. I'm like, okay. And he's like, oh, and I forgot to delete the messages. I was just like, are you serious? And you would think that I would say, no, that's it. We are done. This is not happening again. But it wasn't. Y'all, the D was too good. <laughs> so, y'all, we continued to mess around. We did. We continued to hang out and spend time together and stuff like that. But like I said, I never wanted him to be my man. I wasn't talking to anybody at that time. But eventually, I did. And then we had to, you know, I told him, I was like, okay, we done. And um, he got upset with me. Like, his girlfriend never did anything. She never approached me about it like when she saw me y'all I was too ashamed to even look at her I just just be like because I know she used to be like but yeah she never did anything and so I cut it off with him and I started talking to someone else and then like a few months down the line me and him we hung out again we came back we came into contact again but just as friends, like, you know, we just caught up or whatever. And while hanging out with this young man, he tells me that he got caught cheating again. I'm like, sir, you need to be faithful because obviously cheating is not for you. It is not, it's not made for you because I've never seen someone get caught cheating so many times. Like, at that point, I'm like, are you meaning to get catch? Like, I don't understand. So, <laughs> needless to say, y'all, they did not, and they did not laugh. Like, I don't know if he left her or she left him, but they went their separate ways. He is now, Tall is now a married man, y'all. He changed completely. I don't know if he's being faithful, but he is married. And she has moved on as well and living her life. And, you know, if I see Tall, like when I was back in Texas, because if I saw Tall, you know, we would give each other a little hill. And me and her, like, mm -mm. she actually does speak to me like maybe twice. <laughs> twice uh, before I left about like small things but that was it and like I I don't know I don't know what to say y'all I really I just was going through a phase that I didn't care I was just doing me I was doing what I wanted to do and that was that but y'all don't be like me be better so yeah that is that that's the end of this story y'all and that is the time that I was the side chick and y'all I knew and I did not care but like I said, I'm not like that no more. I was younger and dumber. Now I'm wiser and stronger. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So if you like that story time and if you like my page, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, you guys, bye.